So it's really foggy out today. Down on some land. I've been wanting to get my kit together and just kind of see what works really. So I've been kind of coming up with ideas of what to layer and how big of a loadout I would want and that type of thing. I think I'm gonna start trying to do some like property patrols when schedule permits just to get out with full kit on. Well, not really even full kit, but chest rig with mags, water, gun, bag, and just see how that fits together. Whew. A little different than rucking. I can definitely feel a little bit more pushback, but maybe this is the next step. So that hill is pretty steep past that little turn down. That'll definitely get you winded. But if I want to not be winded in a real situation, I probably need to do this probably as many times as I can possibly stand it until it goes away, until it's not a problem. But definitely feeling a little bit more winded than I am on rucks. Rucks are mostly in town. We're definitely hitting some elevation changes here. Even this grade that I'm on, I don't think you can see it on camera, but it's a little bit of a grade. Not bad. I grew up out here running around shooting anything with eyes when I was a kid. <laughs> My grandpa had us out here, single digit age, running around with shotguns and Mosin and 22 revolvers. Just basically anything you can kill something with. But it was all kind of redneck gun training, you know, not even training at all, but I guess a little bit of safety training. You know, we never shot ourselves. We knew how to not shoot other people or ourselves, but you know, sort of FUD style training for just not basically shooting the guy standing next to you. Basically the same spot that I go hunt deer. It's exactly the same spot I go to hunt deer. So, like I had mentioned earlier, the genesis of this is just to get out with a rifle, with a loadout of some sort, in a sort of patrol sense, and do some, do some patrolling with it, and get used to the weight figure out how I want to set things up as far as like layering, things like that. And just getting more used to having kit on in the woods where crap is not cut for you to have a path through. So just doing a little bit of that this morning and turn this camera around. But yeah, there's a lot of fog out and stuff and I kind of wanted to get out and just kind of be in it. Just kind of enjoy the woods this morning and uh, got the uh, PSA Freedom Rifle Condor gear and a uh, ACU Molly 2 assault pack. But I've got, I've got uh, on the previous video, I showed the bandolier full of ammo. So I've got that and I've got the full chest. So I've got 12 mags. Some of these are empty. I need to, I've got 12 loaded mags. And then I think I've got like five unloaded, which I need to bust open a case and put in those because I don't see a reason to have mags if they're not loaded but just stuff I'd recently acquired and hadn't had time to sit down and jack with but I did want to see what would fit where like in that advanced molly pouch and or the, the advanced med pouch or whatever that was as a whole but I don't know I'm thinking thinking I, I, I kind of like this molly two pack and the uh, Condor rig, I like that. I got these uh, hang on my... Uh, I've got some, like, guitar hanger style. Um, you know, like a Y setup. And I hang these on it when I take my gear off at the house. So, so it's ready to grab and throw on. 
but I just kind of needed to get out and get some exercise. I've been under the weather and just not feeling worth the crap. So I kind of wanted to get out and do some moving, maybe sweat some crap out and spent the weekend taking care of my kid because she was sick. So I didn't really spend that much time taking care of me. So I guess this is me in the woods taking care of me now that my wife is off today. Which I won't be going on. Yeah, you know what I mean? Just doing a little something for me right now. Get outside, breathe the fresh air, get some exercise. Boy, I walked into a freaking briar patch like a genius. And there's a freaking hole you could break your leg in. Oh, man. So I'm going to turn this camera around and just kind of continue as I go through the woods here. As many of you know, our uh, fantastic Mr. 80 million commander in cheese has uh, petitioned the Supreme Court who basically sold out the American people to continue allowing against the will of the state of Texas to allow illegals to come over the border. If this doesn't look like a contrived operation by our government, then you're not paying attention because that's exactly what it is. It's not like Joe Biden is some, shall we say, non-racial entity. The guy was a huge buddy of Robert Byrd, you know, that type of thing, which so was Hillary Clinton. You know, whatever grand cyclops of the KKK slash Senator Robert Byrd was. A lot of these people were Dixiecrats back in the day. And, or, I'm the last of the Dixiecrats. I remember Biden, I've seen video of Biden saying some crap like that. I wasn't alive when he said it, but it's out there. You should look that up. He's not doing this for the benefit of poor people in other countries that need to take their country back. He's not doing this for humanity reasons. We've had that terrorist that's come over the border. It's, it's suspected that he's a terrorist. I can't remember his name. I'll put the screenshot up here. But he said that you will, you, you're not smart enough to know my name when he was questioned who he was, but soon enough you will know who I am. They're letting terrorists in over the border. Yes, it's the government doing it. Just like it's the government that armed all the people that we've ever sent our people to go fight half the time in the last 50 years. We basically give them guns. Let them do something to where it gives our military industrial complex a reason to go over there and kill a bunch of people and send America's farm boys over there to fight and die. You know, it's, it's a money-making scheme. It always has been. This isn't to impugn anybody's service. There's a lot of people did that with the right heart. But most of these views that I've got about our government being useful idiots and using people who have patriotism and care about their country and lying to them and the public and sending them to war and taxing them for the war. I got a lot of this from, from friends of mine. I'm not going to drop their name, but they're, they're Afghanistan and Iraq veterans. These guys see what they were told to go do. And they see that it was a complete lying mess and that we are basically being used to make a bunch of other people rich on the backs and blood of the lower class. So that's kind of what I think is going on here. And of course the lefties are out just praising Joe Biden right now about everything. And I think they're feigning that because none of them really wanted him when he was there. I think that Big Mike and uh, Barack are going to have something cooked up where maybe it's Michelle and Gavin that uh, take over for Biden because he's, he's finally too sick, you know. He'll, which he said it himself, he would feign some sort of sickness if he thought he was in the way. Biden's just a puppet. The people controlling him are on the same agenda that they were with Barack Obama and Bill Clinton and Hillary if she had got elected. So, yeah, that's, that's really the case with it. Oh, you got, some, you got some scrap metal here. But, yeah, that's, that's really the case with it. I think that we're traveling down that path to worse and worse things. As Risky Krisky says, it's going to get worse before it gets worse. And I've had a lot of people say things to me online lately, basically acting like I'm all about some kind of bloodshed. 
And that couldn't be further from the truth. The truth is I don't want anything like that to go on. I'm not advocating anybody go do anything to anybody with physical force. The only thing I tell people is to get prepared, avoid senseless conflicts, stay away from people that are, shall we say, the, uh, the brown shirts that are just the kind of people that would sell you out to maybe, maybe to feed their family. Maybe it's that, maybe it gets that far. Maybe they'd sell you out just to feed their family and, uh, who could argue with that? I would, because I have principles, but the point is there are going to be a lot of people out there that are, you don't want your information and the things that you have put back or your locations known to, you know, because they're the kind of people that'll run and tell somebody if they think that it's going to get them in the good graces of whatever POS government is running this place in the next 15 to 20 years. But people say that I'm, you know, when I, when I tell people to get prepared and, and to even go as far as to, okay, yeah, you need to have weapons and food and water purification and medical stuff stocked. You know, I've had people tag the FBI on that and I'm probably being watched anyway. I don't know why the fuck they'd watch me because I'm not that entertaining and I'm not doing anything illegal. So what the fuck ever, you know, excuse my language. I'm trying to, when I get mad about stuff like this, I drop some F-bombs and I'm trying to kind of watch my language anymore. And you know, it's, it's not a, it's not a thing that I think God approves of and I am a believer. So I'm trying to get that crap under, under control. But my point is, you know, they're trying to get the, the government to, to like roto root randos on Twitter by tagging people for saying anything as innocuous as you should get prepared. You should stay away from those people, you know, especially in your local area, especially in your life. Those kind of people that you have a sixth sense about, you should stay away from them. You should prepare and not tell them, you know, um, again, it's not to engage in violence or go find violence or anything like that but it's to prepare for like self-defense you know to defend yourself that type of thing things that are constitutionally protected and legal so that i guess that's sort of a disclaimer for the uh the goobers and possible uh i don't know government goon watching any videos that i've made I'm, I'm not about getting into violence, but I'm also not going to be lined up like the fucking Polish. So that's all I can say on that. <sighs> Things are kind of coming to a head. 2024 is probably not going to be any better than 2020 through 2023. Probably ought to put some food and water back. Avoid conflict. Don't start no crap. Avoid anybody that's a piece of crap. And get out and get physically fit, you know, make yourself better than you were the day before, even if it's just going on a hike or eating less garbage or whatever, but be, be fit enough to take care of yourself and to constitutionally defend yourself in a legal, righteous, moral manner. <laughs>